Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Jeremy and we're going to be working on the budget build. We're going to be doing, uh, working on getting some things plumbed up here on this pump. Uh, we got this whip line and as you can see, uh, one end doesn't have a swivel. The other end does have a swivel. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the end without the swivel and go straight into our pump and then run this in with the swivel over to our unloader. Uh, your pump will come with um, some uh, plugs and what I've done is I'll just take a little screwdriver and sometimes you can get them out if not you can just bend it in and then just pull it out with some needle noses it's that easy there's two plugs uh, we'll be using uh, some blue monster tape and the way you want to do it is you want to kind of tape it to go with uh, with the way that you're turning so it don't come undone. So take your tape. I start like this and I wrap my tape clockwise. You can wrap it, you can wrap it clockwise. Ah, you can get it started and then wrap it clockwise. And I like to do three to four turns. So there's one, two, three, and we'll stop right here at four. And then we'll go ahead and get that screwed in. All right, after you get it in there four times, get it lined up. And you may have to twist your whole cord around. It's a little bit easier if I ain't sitting down. So just take it, hand tighten with your cord. Then get you an adjustable wrench or a wrench if you want to. I just, adjustable works easy for me and tighten it on up. I like tighten it until it gets good and snug. And then. All right guys, that, after you get this tightened up to where you want it, I just tighten it up until I couldn't really get it tight no more without putting a whole lot of, uh, torque on it. Gonna, this is your uh, inlet for your water. I'm going to tape it up as well. Same way, same concept. Clockwise. If you can see, I'm going to give it about three good turns. Tight. I don't think that's going to be big enough. I've got a bigger about as tight as I can get it right there without putting everything into it. All right, guys, that's that. And uh, so now we're gonna get our uh, unloader set up. And uh, it's pretty easy. This is a half inch. They make this in a three eighths. I would imagine you could just get it in a three eighths and keep you from reducing it. But maybe the half inch flows more water it's less restriction, so maybe that's why it's recommended. But uh, I mean, three eighths or half inch, I think you could do either or. Uh, but you have to do, if you get the half inch, you have to get these uh, adapters that uh, screws on to here to be able to take it down to a three eighths. Uh, as you can see, this is where your water is gonna come in. So this is where you're gonna connect your inlet this is water in you're going to take this and connect this to your unloader block 
which would be this. This will screw into that uh, with with the adapter. It's because it's going to have an adapter on it. And uh, we'll go ahead and show you guys how to do that. All right, guys. Got everything here taped up. Went ahead and taped these up. I'm not going to show you guys how to tape that stuff up here. If I showed you once, it applies for the same thing, so you should know how to do that. Snug it up, boys. It don't take it don't take much on this. Don't take much at all. I'm just gonna get something to kind of help me hold it here, just to snug it up. See if we can get it to go on in there. It's a little hard, boys. If I if you have a vice, I'd recommend using a vice. That way you ain't scarring up everything. All right, it's kind of hard to do this to film. We'll get back to it and show you guys. All right, guys, we're working on the unloader, and I wanted to map it out first, so. <clears throat> I'm gonna mount it right here onto the side of my block. I took and set it up to where I thought I wanted it with the unloader screwed into it to make sure I had clearance room and everything and everything's gonna work out just like this. But uh, I got these hose drilled and they're, they're, they're just a little off as far as level, which is fine. But uh, I took and laid a piece of uh, paper towel, I didn't have no masking tape over top of it and I just punched two hose into uh, where they were. And I took the paper towel up to here and then I went and got me a uh, marker and two dots. Then I come back with a punch and I made me a, a, a divot in that and then I just drilled those out. But we'll go ahead and we're gonna get the unloader and everything set up and mount it. And then I'll get back to you. Guys, this is a little bit of a video but I'm trying to show you how to do this step by step. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. All right, stay tuned. We'll be right back in just a second. All right, guys, here's the finished product. Got this tightened up. Got it over here. Come down into my unloader. And uh, this is a little tight, a little close, and this is probably just going to be temporarily. Um, got my quick connect so I can go straight into my whip line to my reel. I really had other ideas on where to mount it, but I only ordered a two foot whip line. I should have ordered a three. I thought two would be plenty, but <clears throat> this is it. You see, I actually had it over and I need it. I was too far over this way. So I will move it over here. And I know, oh, you got your dipstick block. Well, you know, on a Predator 420, you got another dipstick. So no big deal, works out. Anyways, guys, that is how you plumb uh, your pump to your unloader, right there. And this right here, uh, we'll set it. I'll show you how to set it and everything. But uh, this is going to be to my bypass. I've got to get a female to three eighths. I think it's a three eighths line. I don't have it. I got to get it. All right. 